Hey guys, back with another video. Actually, this video is a repetition of a previous video that I did that I wasn't very happy with. It was a video about missing angles in a triangle. At the beginning of that video, I did an explanation about how we can show that there are 180 degrees um, inside the triangle. In other words, if you add all of the three angles in a triangle together you can get you will always get 180 degrees but I'm, I feel that I didn't show that very well so I'm going to attempt to do it again and make it much clearer this time so hopefully if you watch the first video you'll get a much better understanding by watching this explanation now so we can look at our animation again there we have a circle with a straight line to it if we increase the angle from the straight line to this point here, we know that's a 90 degree angle. That's halfway along. If we extend it again to this point, that's 2 times 90, which makes 180. So this is a straight line, and we know that the angles on a straight line make exactly 180 degrees. Using this fact will help us show why the angles in a triangle must add up to 180 degrees and this fact about the angles adding up to 180 degrees will help us later when we're trying to work out the angles the missing angles within the triangle where you're normally given two angles but the third one you don't know you can use the fact that 180 degrees is the sum of all the angles in a triangle to work out what our missing angles are. So we'll do a couple of examples in this video. So the first thing I want you to do is to take your triangle. You can actually do this experiment yourself. You can draw a triangle and tear each corner off so that you get three the three corners separate. Then what I want you to do is turn the corners round, rotate them, and place them all together so that they actually fit together. When you do that, you'll notice that the bottom of this angle makes a perfect straight line, which will show that these angles are actually at 180 degrees. So let's actually do that. Let's tear these triangles, tear these corners off, turn them around, and then we can put them together and if you look carefully you can see this is a perfect straight line and that the angles fit perfectly together because we know the angles on a straight line make 180 degrees these angles that fit perfectly together must equal 180 degrees so that's how we know that the triangle must have 180 degrees or in other words the angles of a triangle if you add all three of them up you will always get 180 degrees you can do this experiment yourself and you'll see it work so what you can actually do to show that the angles within a triangle all three angles add up to 180 degrees like we actually did with the quadrilateral video you can tear off each corner of the angles each corner of the triangle sorry you've got three corners a b and c tear off each corner then if you turn each one of them around and put them together you will see they fit perfectly together and at the bottom of the that uh, bottom of um, these three shapes you will have a perfect straight line which means that the angles make up 180 degrees because we know the angle on a straight line makes 180 degrees so because we've taken these three angles and put them together and they fit perfectly together on a straight line that means the angles within a triangle or the angles of a triangle all add up to 180 degrees okay guys now we're back with Oh, well, not back, it's just the second part of the video. And here we have a scaling triangle. Now there are three angles here. There's 60 degrees, there is 49 degrees, and there is X. 
Now we know in a scalar, um, scalene triangle, in any triangle, all the degrees add up to 80, uh, 180 degrees. So what we're trying to find out now is what the value of x is. Well, we have so far, we would normally do this exercise. You have your two angles you know. You know that 60 plus 49 plus x equals 180 because all three angles must add up to 180. First of all, find out what 60 plus 49 is. 60 plus 49, that equals 109. So then 109 degrees plus x equals 180 degrees. How do we find out what x is? Simply take away 109 from 180. So 180 minus 109 equals 71 degrees. That means x equals 71 degrees. Can we be sure about this? Well, all we would need to do once we have x is add these three degrees together. So we're saying now that x equals 71 degrees. If we add 60 plus 49 plus 71, we should get 80. So what we're saying is that 60 degrees plus 49 degrees plus uh, 71 degrees equals what? Let's just use the calculator so we don't make any mistakes. So 60 plus 49 plus 71 equals 180 degrees. This means it's true. X equals 71 degrees. We use the fact that the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees to help us find the missing angle X. Let's try another one, which may at first seem a little more difficult, but let's try it anyway. Let me just move my board out of the way where I was hiding the, the next one. Here we go. We have a triangle, but look, this is slight, this is, uh, slightly different. We don't have three angles. We have 35 degrees and X. What on earth are we going to do? Well, first of all, we always start by writing that each of these three angles add up to 180 degrees. So 35 degrees plus X plus this angle, we don't know what that is, equals 180 degrees. Well, it's going to be impossible for us to find X because we need at least two and then we subtract the two from 180. But have you noticed this shape? Hopefully you're familiar with what this shape means. This angle here is called a right angle. And all right angles are 90 degrees. So that means this is 90 degrees. So now we do have two angles. So we can change our sum to 35 degrees plus x plus 90 degrees equals 180 degrees. 35 plus 90 equals 125. That means we can rewrite it again. 125 degrees plus x equals 180 degrees. Then we want to find x. So we subtract 125 from 180, which is 180 minus 125 degrees equals 
Let's do it in the calculator. Oops. 180 minus 125 equals, oh, I can't see that, sorry. Yep, that looks like it's 55 degrees. There you go. So, um, X equals 55 degrees. And as usual, just in case you don't trust the answer, you feel unsure, especially if you're taking a test or in an exam, you might just want to double check that this answer is correct. And what you do is you add all three of the degrees. So now we have 35 degrees plus that which we discovered was 90, the right angle, plus 55 degrees equals 35 plus 90 plus 55 equals 180 degrees. So there you have it. Just a few examples of how you can work out the angles in scalene triangles. That's where all the, le all the lengths of the triangle are different in measure. They're not equal lengths. So hopefully that was um, a better explanation of how things work in comparison to my first video. And so we'll move on to other subjects. I think the next subject may be polygons, which we haven't dealt with. So until the next video.